गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द क्लास वी आर डूइंग द चैप्टर टेन इन हिस्ट्री एंड दिस इज योर एटीन सेंचुरी पोलिटिकल फॉर्मेशन एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द होल चैप्टर एक्चुअली डील्स विद द डिक्लाइन ऑफ द मुगल पावर एंड द इमरजेंस ऑफ द न्यू स्टेट्स सो वॉट मी फाइंड दैट द देर वे थ्री थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ uh groups of a state were there in uh, in the declining uh, mughal authority the first was were uh, bengal bengal awadh and hyderabad who were very uh, powerful old mughal provinces and uh, they were having their uh, formal ties with the mughal emperor then there were states uh, which which enjoyed so um, uh, sufficient uh, uh, independence under the mughals who were called watan jagi like the rajput principalities were grouped under this and the last group was that which uh, which tried which which uh, fought a long battle in order to seize power from the mughals they were maratha six and others like uh, jats so we have done about uh, these old mughal provinces hydra awadh and bengal then we have also done about the watan jagirs of the rajputs and uh, we we have discussed about the seizing independence those uh, uh, groups or um, those people who seized their independence from the mughals and uh, we have discussed about the sex and uh, now we are discussing about the marathas how uh, shivaji he 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 was responsible for a stable kingdom and uh, of the marathas of course he got support from uh, powerful warrior families and that they were called the smoks and also uh, there was a group of highly mobile peasant pastoralists who were called kunbis so they also uh, helped them so we see that uh, shivaji is after the death of shivaji uh the maratha power was used by the family of chitpavan brahmanas who who became the uh, successor of shivaji as peswa and at that time pune became the kingdom uh, capital of the kingdom and uh, peswas <coughs> under the peswas the marathas uh, developed a very successful military organization they were able to uh, defeat the mughals and uh, we find that uh, between 1720 and uh, 1761 the maratha empire expanded because of its power it was able to expand its uh, territory so between 1720 and 1761 and uh, we see that uh, because of this uh, extension or expansion of uh, territory of marathas the authority of the mughal empire started to uh, decline their uh, territory also started to uh, reduce and we find that uh, malwa and gujarat were seized from the mughals by 1720s and by 1730s the maratha king was recognized as the overlord of the entire deccan peninsula ना सेवेंटीन 1720s तक मालवा और गुजरात उनके कंट्रोल में आए और 1730s तक क्या होता है कि पूरा का पूरा जो मराठा डेक्कन पेनसुला जो था द इंटायर डेक्कन पेनसुला द इंटायर डेक्कन पेनसुला इट इट केम अंडर द रूल ऑफ मराठा के and uh, we find that uh, now the maratha king was in a condition to levy chot and sardes mukhai in the region uh, these are uh, different types of taxes which were levied on the people of that uh, territory so chot is uh, the fourth part and you know? a fourth part means 25% one fourth or 25% both are same as you know so 25% of the land land revenue was claimed by zamindars and uh, um, uh, in deccan region this land revenue was collected by the marathas so they were in a position to levy this chot tax on the people and they they were getting it 
and then sardesh mukhi sardesh mukhi was uh, it was also a type of uh, revenue uh, in which we see that 9 to 10% of the land revenue was paid to the head revenue collector in the deccan so uh, this also goes to uh, the maratha king only okay and uh, now we see that uh, um, maratha um, kingdom ki jo uh, expansion tha that was going on they raided delhi in 1737 okay and after that we find that their frontiers expanded rapidly uske baad unka jo frontier tha wo expand karta gaya uh, rajasthan aur punjab tak wo north mein chala gaya the maratha uh, kingdom ki territory north mein punjab and rajasthan bengal aur odisha bengal and odisha in the east and uh, agar hum uh, south mein dekhe to it was karnatak tamil nadu and karnatak uh, tamil and telugu countries jo the wo south mein uh, inka extension wahan tak ho gaya hai na north mein rajasthan punjab ईस्ट में बंगाल और उड़ीसा और साउथ में कर्नाटक तमिल और तेलुगु कंट्रीज तक इनका एक्सपेंशन हो गया और इट डज नॉट मीन दैट ऑल दीज टेरिटरीज वेर फॉर्मली इंक्लूडेड इन द मराठा एम्पायर नो दे वर नॉट फॉर्मली इंक्लूडेड बट वेर मेड टू पे ट्रिब्यूट है ना दे वर आस्ट टू पे ट्रिब्यूट ओनली उनको ट्रिब्यूट पे करना होता था और इससे ज़्यादा का डोमिनेशन नहीं था दे इट्स नॉट कि पूरे की पूरी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन जो थी वो मगर मराठास के हाथ में थी नो दे दीज किंग्स ऑफ दीज रीजन्स वर सपोज टू गिव ट्रिब्यूट एज अ वे ऑफ एक्सेप्टिंग मराठा सॉवरेंटी इफ यू आर पेइंग ट्रिब्यूट टू द मराठा किंग इट मीन्स दैट यू यू हैव एक्सेप्टेड दैट यू आर अंडर द मराठा किंगडम है ना उसकी सॉवरेनिटी को सॉवरेनिटी एज आई डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर ऑल्सो सॉवरेनिटी मीन्स द अल्टीमेट अथॉरिटी अल्टीमेट पावरफुल जिसके ऊपर और कोई भी अथॉरिटी नहीं होती है उसी को हम सॉवरेन कहते हैं सो दीज द किंग्स ऑफ दीज टेरिटरीज पेड ट्रिब्यूट एंड इट वॉज अ वे ऑफ एक्सेप्टिंग मराठा सॉवरेनिटी and uh, because of expansion we find that dekho kya hota hai when the territory of any kingdom is expanded the um, it, it, it the 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 the, um, the king the kingdom whose territory is getting expanded becomes very rich because now more and more territories are added so it means more and more people are added to the to, to the kingdom and these people will pay tax to the king as if we have seen that in the entire deccan peninsula the in the entire deccan peninsula the um, uh, tax of this uh, choth and sardes mukhi was given to the kingdom uh, given to the emperor hai na to then we are seeing ki uh, the the kings of these regions they also give them give the maratha king tribute so because of these we find that the maratha kingdom became very resourceful unke resources bahut zyada ho gaye bahut rich ho gaya wo hai na but uh, uh, the marathas has to pay a price for that and what was that price that uh, now the marathas were totally alone they lost their uh, friends because their main aim was to expand their territory their main aim was to expand their power so they were engaged in a, a battle with so many rulers and as a result we find that uh, no one was with the marathas the marathas were totally alone and uh, like uh, jo bhi uh, marathas ke aas paas ke kingdoms they, they were not ready to support Uh, the marathas at all and when this third battle of panipat uh, uh, occurred in 1761 at that time no one came to support the marathas this is the reason so this is the price which the marathas had to 
pay okay and uh, we see that uh, this uh, the marathas were engaged in uh, endless military campaigns you know and uh, they were expanding their ter their territories but at the same time we find that uh, they developed a very effective administrative system also and uh, we find that uh, once their conquest had been completed and uh, maratha rule was secure revenue demands were gradually introduced taking local condition into account and ek baar jab unka jo conquest tha jo expansion tha wo कंप्लीट हो जाता है अब मराठा रूलर्स नाउ दे वर सिक्योर कि अब उन्हें आगे एक्सपेंशन नहीं करना है तो फिर क्या हुआ कि रेवेन्यू डिमांड्स तो था वो नए नए रेवेन्यूज जो थे वो इंक्लूड किए गए अकॉर्डिंग टू द लोकल कंडीशन है ना जो लोकल कंडीशंस प्रिवेल कर रही थी उसके अकॉर्डिंगली बहुत सारे रेवेन्यू रेवेन्यूज को इंक्लूड किया गया और इसमें हम देखते हैं कि लाइक एग्रीकल्चर को इनक्रेज किया गया है ना ट्रेड को भी रिवाइव किया गया क्योंकि जितना ज़्यादा एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्शन होगा उतना ज़्यादा द किंग विल गेट लैंड रेवेन्यू द किंग विल गेट टैक्सेज एज मच एज द एग्रीकल्चर वॉज डेवलप्ड इन द सिमिलर वे इफ ट्रेड इज इंक्रीज इन एनी रीजन दैन द It, the, then it will be beneficial for the king also because the king will be able to get uh, taxes and tribute from the traders. So, uh, keeping these in view, the agriculture and trade both were encouraged. And uh, now we find that uh, because of this Maratha chiefs, um, there were so many Maratha chiefs like Sindhya of Gwalior. सिंधिया ऑफ ग्वालियर गायकवाड ऑफ बड़ौदा भोंसले ऑफ नागपुर दे हैव नाउ दे हैव इनफ रिसोर्सेज इन ऑर्डर टू रेज देयर आर्मीज है ना अब उनके पास पैसे की कमी नहीं थी बिकॉज इतना सारा रेवेन्यू आ रहा था टैक्सेज आ रहे थे ट्रिब्यूट्स आ रहे थे सो नाउ दे वर इन अ पोजिशन टू रेज देयर पावरफुल आर्मी अपनी पावरफुल आर्मी को वो रेज कर सकते थे ठीक है और वी सी दैट मराठा कैंपेन इन टू मालवा इन दिनटीन ट्वेंटीज डिड नॉट चैलेंज द ग्रोथ एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑफ द रीजन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द अटैक ऑफ नादिर शाह ऑल्सो है ना वी हैव सीन दैट नादिर शाह अटैक डेली एंड दैट अटैक वॉज ओनली फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ लूट है ना दादी साहब वॉन्टेड एन ओनली मॉनिटरी गेन एंड दैट गेन वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी शॉर्ट टर्म गेन हिज पर्पज ऑफ अटैकिंग डेली वॉज नॉट टू रूल द टेरिटरी और एनीथिंग लाइक दैट ओनली पर्पज वॉज टू ग्रैब एज मच अमाउंट ऑफ मनी एज पॉसिबल बट हियर यू कैन सी दैट मराठाज वेन एवर दे वर एंगेज इन मिलिट्री कैंपेन दे वर एंगेज इन expanding their territory their territory they never challenged the growth and prosperity of the cities in the region growth or prosperity ko bina kisi tarah ka nuksan pahunchaye hue unhone battles kiye aur different territories ko apne control mein liya and we find that the sindhya ke patronage mein uh, ujjain ka bahut zyada expansion hota hai bahut uh, advance hota hai aage badhta hai ujjain hai na so uh, this is the role of a ruler ki wo jis jis reason ko rule kar raha hai wo aage badhe hai na ujjain expanded and under sindhya's patronage and likewise indore also uh, expanded under holkars and uh, we see that uh, these cities were large and uh, prosperous and they functioned as important commercial centers as well as cultural centers and we find that uh, new trade routes were also emerged uh, in those areas which were controlled by the marathas the silk which was produced in the chanderi region which is uh, um, uh, which is in madhya pradesh wahan ki chanderi bahut hi famous hai chanderi region ka jo silk hota hai jisko hum chanderi ke naam se jante hain now uh, wo chanderi region ka jo silk tha wo ab pune pahunchne laga kyunki dono hi region jo the marathas ke 
control me to new trade routes this so uh, we are talking about new trade routes under the maratha so this is the new trade route ki now the uh, silk which was produced in chanderi it now it is reaching to pune and uh, uh, in the similar way we find that uh, uh, there was a, a good deal of trade between uh, agra and surat and burhanpur uh also it uh, it it was uh, uh, it also participated in this trade it was in the in between this uh, agra and surat and now we find that ye jo route tha agra se surat ka now it was expanded and uh, uh, in the south it expanded to pune and nagpur and uh, in the east it expanded to uh, lucknow and allahabad so in this way we can see that this was the nature of uh, the maratha rule that uh, they never uh, ruled for the purpose of uh, uh, plunder or the purpose of loot or anything like that their main purpose was to uh, bring prosperity to the region and uh, this is why uh, this is the difference between uh, the the rule of uh, a good king and uh, a king like uh, nadir shah who attacked india for the purpose of loot only so uh, this we have done about marathas and now we will see about the jats and jats they also consolidated their power during late 17th and 18th century and uh, their famous leader was churaman churaman uh, uh, under this uh, leader he, they acquired the jats acquired control over territories which were situated uh, on the western side of the city of delhi and uh, by 1680s uh, these uh, jats they began to dominating the region between the two imperial cities of delhi and agra hai na to delhi aur agra ke beech ka jo pura region tha wo jats jo hai wo 1680s mein usko control kar rahe the and uh, aisa bhi samay tha when the, the jats became the custodian of the city of agra jats bahut uh, hi prosperous agriculturist hua karte the and uh, there were towns like panipat ballabgarh these became very important centers of trade during the rule of jats pratap panipat and ballabgarh and uh, uh, we see that surajmal uh, under under surajmal the kingdom of bharatpur emerged as a strong state hai na uh, when uh, nadir shah jo tha usne jab attack kiya 1739 mein to bahut sare jo city ke notables notables matlab jo um, prominent uh, people of the city they took refuge uh, there only bharatpur mein hai na and uh, um, uh, surajmal ka beta jawahir shah tha जिसके पास थर्टी थाउजेंड ट्रूप्स अपने थे और उसने कुछ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड मराठा से हायर किया और फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स से हायर करके उसने मुगल्स के साथ लड़ाई भी लड़ी और भरतपुर फोर्ट को जब बनाया जा रहा था तो उसमें बहुत सारे ट्रेडिशनल स्टाइल्स को भी इंक्लूड किया गया और जट्स ने डिग नाम की जगह में एक तो भरतपुर फोर्ट हो गया आपका एंड देन डिग डिग जो था वहाँ पर भी जाट्स ने बहुत सारे एलेबोरेट गार्डन बनाए जिसमें कि अंबर और आगरा दोनों के ही स्टाइल को मिक्स कर किया गया एम्बर इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द स्टाइल ऑफ राजपुताना एंड आगरा इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द स्टाइल ऑफ दैट मुगल्स तो जो एलेबोरेट गार्डन बनवाए बनाए गए उसमें एम्बर और आगरा दोनों को ही uh, दोनों को ही रिप्रेजेंट करता है वो एंड वी सी दैट इसके जो बिल्डिंग्स uh, थे वो uh, शाहजहाँ की जो बनाए हुए रॉयल्टी के अंदर जो बने हुए फिगर्स थे उससे बहुत कुछ मैच करते हैं ओके एंड नाउ वी विल फाइंड व्हाट वाज हैपनिंग इन अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो वी सी कि एटीन uh, सेंचुरी इंडिया में जिस तरह से हम देख रहे हैं कि uh, monarchical system tha and the monarchs the uh, the kings were fighting with each other and uh, there was no um, there was not any kind of uh, 
feeling of uh, uh, this uh, ki, uh, unity and equality and freedom this type of uh, concepts was not there in india but in the western world we find that uh, in the late 18th century the situation started to change with the american war of independence with the french revolution these uh, revolutions were actually they were challenging the social and uh, political inequality which was prevailing in the country and uh, this french revolution is, revolution is very much important in this regard because it is considered as the beginning of the democracy in the world and uh, in this uh, revolution we find that the middle class the peasants the artisans they fought against the special rights which was given to the clergy and the nobility the people started to believe that uh, privileges should not be there because privilege what is the basis of privileges it is the base basis is birth only and we don't have our control over the birth ki which in which family we are going to take birth no one knows so there should not be any discrimination on the basis of birth but uh, the people's uh, uh, position in society should depend on their merit on their talent and uh, there were so many philosophers during the french revolution like uh, uh, rousseau montesquieu who were of the opinion that there should be equal law and opportunities for all and uh, they also were of the opinion that uh, the authority of the government should come from the people people are the actual source of authority and uh, in they they possess this right to participate in its affairs so um, this uh, french revolution it ha happened in 1789 though we cannot say ki that in 1789 in france uh, Uh, the French democracy was established and uh, monarchical system was ended. No, it was uh, the beginning of the setting up of a democratic government in not only in France but also in complete Europe. So this is all for today.